Good evening and salutations, my b, &B fans. You know, I get that they're exes and they have kids, but um, there's such a thing as being a little bit too comfortable, right? So Poppy and D Poppy and Bill are making out on the couch and everything, and Katie just walks on in this place. And I'm just like, so wait, we don't, we don't knock anymore. <laughs> like we just, we just walk our asses on in, inside, inside people's houses. Like it's just cool. And I know people can sit there and say, but they have kids together. I don't give two shits. You should never be that comfortable to just be walking in somebody else's place. Anyway, she comes in and she's all like, you know, oh, well, you know, who's this or whatever. And she starts asking these questions where it's just like, like the whole vibe just comes across as jealous. And I'm just like, Katie, you don't, you don't get to be jealous in this situation for just a number of different reasons. Besides the main fact that you are going out with Carter, you don't have the right to be jealous. And you also don't have the right to be jealous because when he wanted to be with you, you wouldn't allow him back to be the, about um you wouldn't allow him to be with you. So since you turned him down, you don't have a right to be jealous. You lost that right. So at this point, you just look pretty stupid, right? They start talking about their kids, which I'm just like, I don't really understand why you're why you're talking about your kids for. And I think at some point, either she or him was just like, oh, I think she was meant to say, well, you know, you shouldn't have to sit there and listen to us talk about our kids or whatever. And she's like, you know, I don't mind, you know, because, you know, I'm um, talking about favors, who's the favorite parent. And so she's like, oh, I was, I was favorite parent by default. And I'm just like, no, you were favorite parent by choice. You chose to not let this, uh, let this man know that you were pregnant, which is, Unless this guy was like this dangerous psychopathic murderer, that was just selfish. Um, and of course, you know, Poppy starts to get a little territory to her as well, and she's all like, "Oh well, you know, we," because she starts asking these questions like, "Oh, so where where y'all know each other from?" And I'm just like, "It's none of your business." Like, why are you asking these questions that that you really that is just inappropriate, and you just look stupid asking. But it gets to a point where where they talk about how they they known each other, and he played this little funny music in the background, like something's supposed to be a joke. And I'm just like, this stuff is just going over my head. I don't, I don't get it. Like, how is this supposed to be funny? Like, her being jealous and somewhat territorial is not funny. This is just sad and pathetic and unnecessary. And of course, Poppy's like, well, you know, you could sit there and say I had him first, and I'm just like. Oh, okay. Um, like, I just, I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Now, at first, this whole vibe, I thought it was coming from the fact that Brooke told, you know, told Katie about the whole mints and everything like that, but she didn't even know who she was. It was like, you being territorial and jealous just comes across as stupid. Um, so while Liam and, and Steffi are wondering, where the hell is Ben at? Ben is there, you know, just sweating bullets at this point. This dude is sweating bullets. And, you know, Deacon offers to get the guy, I can't remember his name, it's just my reason, to, you know, get him to work there and everything like that, just to really help him out and show his gratitude for everything that, you know, he did for, for him and Sheila. So it gets to a point they start taking pictures. This is after the guy's like, oh, well, you know, you're a witness. You got to sit the inside. I was like, oh, that's evidence right there. That's evidence number one. And then, of course, they take pictures and stuff. And they're like, oh, come on, Finn. Come on. And, you know, Finn's like, uh, I don't know, because he knows once uh, <laughs> he take pictures, that's more evidence. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, you should never sit there and be afraid of your wife like that. That is just <sighs> what I'm talking about. This whole Steppy got his balls. It's just so sad and pathetic. Like, Jesus Christ. Now, 
you know, they take pictures and stuff, and he's like, oh, I don't know, because, you know, he's, he's sweating bullets at this point. He's barely smiling in these weddings, I mean, in these pictures and stuff, because he knows when he comes home, oh, my God, I got to sit there with, there with the big, bad stuffy. But um, he gets home after getting the pizzas, and Liam is on his way out. He grabs a pizza, and Stephanie's like, so, you know, what, what happened? Uh, where, where, where were you? Why was your phone on silent and everything? And he's about to explain, but he's like, um, when you, uh, when you heading out, so he leaves, right? And he talks to Hope, and long story short, Hope is like, yeah, uh, Finn was at the wedding. So Finn, so Finn starts to explain himself, right? And you can tell he's just super nervous. He is super nervous. He starts off very slow on the most minute of details of what I'm happening instead of him just getting right to the point, right? He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I ran into them, you know, they, they, they switched the, the location or whatever, and at first they was like, so, so they, they ambushed you, right? I mean, that, that must have been the reason why, why you um, why you were there so long, right? Because, you know, they, they did that to you, right? You didn't, you didn't voluntarily go there, right? And as he's in the explain his the story, um, Deacon and, and Sheila decide to post their, their wedding pictures or whatever on, I don't know, I guess the restaurant's blog or something. So she sees it and she just flips out. She's like, you were at the wedding? You were at the, you know, like, like she's about to start flipping out. Like this is the beginning of her act on flipping out. And I'm just like, bro. See, any, any regular normal man would just sat there and explain to him, like, hey, listen. And this is something that Hope said. Hope was like, Steffi shouldn't be able to dictate your feelings on how you feel about your mother. That's on you. Now, yes, yeah, Steffi has her feelings. She has her concerns. And I'm not saying this and they're not valid. Okay, I mean, this chick did sit there and shot y'all both in the alley and just left y'all there to die. Right? So I can understand her anger, her resentment towards the situation. But I'm like, boo, you still married him. You knew, even after, I don't care, you know, and people would sit there and say, oh, it was a couple hours before, you know, when she found out, you know, that they were, they were, they were you know, related and stuff. Okay. Well, then a little bit right after, she could have stayed, she could have decided to leave. Oh, she could have decided to sit there and leave this man after the whole shooting. But she didn't. So I'm just like, this whole, oh, I'm angry that you went to the, you went to the wedding or whatever. We'll say, okay, he went to the wedding. So what? He has a right to sit there and go to his mother's wedding. You don't like it. Divorce him and be done. But I'll tell you the whining and the yelling and the, all that, you, 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 you're doing too much. You're doing way, 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 way too much. That's the problem with Steffi. Steffi likes to sit there and act like she runs ish. Okay. Anyway, I feel like that's about it. I can't think of anything else that wound up happening, but if I miss anything, write down in the comment section below or come to the live stream tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows. Bow and the Beautiful, Young and Restless, Days of Our Lives, and General Hospital. And I will see you in the next video. I'll hopefully live stream tonight.